Hello, I'm Simulator Deck. Welcome back. Welcome back to Tram Sim. And today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different instead of just our plain red trams that we can see on the screen. But just before we do that, just an update on what's happening with the with the depot expansion pack that's being released that should be here in time for the next episode. And what's happening is, of course, it's a downloadable content, a DLC, at a small cost, and it's even cheaper if you already have the ultra low floor tram. Starting the tram up from cold and dark, going into service. Now the tram depot is pretty much where I thought it would be. I had a look on the network map for Vienna. And it's a couple of stops away on Route 6. So there's a couple of stops that you'll see to go from the depot. From the depot, pass a couple of stops on, on Route 6 and then join Route 1 and head either to Stefan, where you'll be heaps closer to, or go through the underground tunnels and head towards where we are now in Karlsplatz and also towards perhaps the Hatzali. And then again, reverse in the night time or at the end of your shift, you'll be able to drive back to the depot park your tram, you can roll by fully stabling it, making it cold and dark again if you want to. Also in conjunction with this update, and with the next update, is that there's going to be an option so you can have a dirty tram or a weathered tram. So they all look clean and neat at the moment. So you'll be able to have an option where they look a bit weathered or they look a bit dirty. So you can go to the tram wash which will be working, go through the tram wash and your tram will be nice and clean again. Also, uh, the rear controls that are locked away that I've mentioned before in the past, you'll be able to use those in the depot as well. And you'll also have um, another employee with you called the shunter. Um, that will that will help you to um, get in and out of the tram depot so that will be rather rather cool but what are we doing on today's episode well today's episode we are featuring tram repaints so there's some other simulators and other games out there where you can get reskins or repaints and you can mod and you can modify it modify whatever the vehicle is your tram your bus your train your police car whatever it happens to be and so instead of looking like this as you can see on the screen now the basic color scheme you can put it into whatever you want now to do that you have to be comfortable with downloading files, um, unzipping and extracting them, putting them in folders, and then also going into your your Steam directories and your Tram Sim directory, and then pasting them there. And then once you do that, you go into Tram Sim itself, you go into Vehicles, and you assign the repaints to whichever vehicles you want. There's repaints for the E2 that we can see on screen now, there's repaints for the ultra low floor, and there's repaints for the, for the flexity, which we'll be seeing on screen in a moment. Don't forget to subscribe, I'm Simulated Earth, we're about to get rolling, we're on a Route 1 service to Prat to Hap to Lee, I'm Simulated Earth, you're awesome, 
and let's get into the action. Simulator Dirk, Tram Thursday starts now. All right, so here is um, Flex City 307, and it is in a color scheme which we'll see when the traffic takes off. Just going to um, let the cars take off at the moment because I want to have a look at this colour scheme. It's advertising some sort of local beer. So this is 307. I've got various flexies in various colour schemes. Um, actually we'll get over here. There's a tram coming. Now the interesting thing about it, and I wasn't sure how this was going to work, is that this is another colour scheme. This, I believe, is modelled on the colour scheme of the uh, Toronto streetcar in Canada. And you set different trams to different colour schemes. So you obviously pick the one that you want to drive, and then the others... I wasn't sure if this was going to work. I thought you might have only been able to see your repaint but indeed you can see other repaints around you. So I have noticed, so we'll watch this one go and then we'll continue. So you can see parts of the standard color scheme all right, we'll get back to our tram. Uh, we'll open the doors again. Now, I have noticed and this is only me today. I don't know if this is because I've put the tram skins in, but normally when you load whatever your your world is in, either if you're in timetable mode or free roam mode, you select where you want the tram to start from, the tram stationary, you start it up and off you go. pretty standard stuff but today when I've loaded a couple of times I've noticed that the tram is actually going and you don't necessarily have control of it you don't necessarily have control of it and you've got to wait for a while for the loading screen to finish loading in. It's not normal for the tram to be going while you don't have control. I have a shot there a little bit. Oh, it still thinks that I'm back there. So all of these, all of these repaints, oh, I must still think a door's open, hang on, I've got to go in and reset that. Uh, so all of these reskins come to us from the, um, from the Tram Sim Discord. And so over coming weeks, uh, we'll see others out and about as well. Now I was... Parlament. Umsteigen zu 2. In Richtung Dornbach. I was watching another video 
and uh, what they were doing was they were on an out of service tram and they were following in the out of service tram they were following the AI route 62 on the um, the Euro life tram the ultra life long and they were sh uh, following it in the common section that Route 1 and Route 62 shares. And so I was watching it go through the tunnel and and they were fo they were following the you know following the Route 62 which is you know what they wanted to do. And then I got to the um, got to the underground section. got to the underground section where the Route 62 basically should go in straight ahead and the Route 1 goes to the left. Rathausplatz, Burgtheater. And so what had happened, the person making the video had figured out I don't know how we're going to get back to... So the person had... So the person had figured out that for some reason the Tram 62 instead of going straight ahead and just disappearing into the bit that's not modelled um, what had actually happened was that it, it was heading up to Stefan Schottentor Umsteigen zu U2 37 38 40 41 42 43 44 1A Like Route 62 was on diversion and was going up all the way to Stefan. Now, that apparently was a glitch that's since been fixed, so I can't recreate it. So I thought I'd do things a little bit differently today with how I present the tram and the way that things look. Stop now, so I can't do anything. Yeah, just thought I'd do things a little bit differently today. Can I go for? Oh, here's another one. Uh, so I can only go as far as there. I can zoom in at least. Now, a lot of these localizations, as someone who's not from Vienna or isn't even German, I don't necessarily understand some of the references.
but it's a little bit of visual variety. Börse. Umsteigen zu D. In Richtung Flussdorf, 40A. So that's a little bit of visual variety. Um, the depot is a paid, a paid thing and of course some people are like, oh this should be part of the standard game and I can understand that. Um, of course I'm going to get it and of course you're going to see it here. Don't even think about it Mr. Pedestrian. But the other thing that was announced recently was the um, a new route. Now this new route this new route is actually something that's happening soon in real life Vienna. Now there's going to be a fair bit of construction on a um, on a inner city subway line. So so it in reality is going to be closed for about three years in the inner city around the um, the Carlsplatz general area. So instead they're going to be running tram services around part of Schottenring. Umsteigen zu U2, U4, 31, 3A. So they're going to be running um, they're going to be running tram services instead of um, the U-Bahn or the subway in this general area where we are now. So the U2 will become a tram route for the foreseeable future in tram sim just like it is in real life. It'll be the U2Z from memory. That's what it'll be. Uh, that's what it'll be known as. Now let me just try and do something here to see if I can Oh, I haven't even got... Oh, I thought it might have been because I had my Adobe products open, but that's not the case. This is a new route addition, even though it's using part of the current network effectively. And this is a free part of the next update at which will be at the end of May. So there'll be the the depot and then the new line. So we'll probably have one new episode completely about the depot and then one episode about the um a totally new line. So there are ship train there are there are changes. Salztorbrücke. Umsteigen zu 2A. Flughafenbus. Bitte seien Sie achtsam. Andere brauchen Ihren Sitzplatz vielleicht notwendiger. Connections to Airport Bus. I'm 
get a very good stop for that. Yeah, that deserved a one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to use that camera angle. So it isn't random, you do have to allocate uh, particular tram numbers to uh, particular colour schemes. So I'm not sure if that's the reason that performance seems to be a bit down today. see if it was drawn in properly um, the yellow signs at the station here at the tram stop now therefore the um, tourist tram routes the city's basically the city circle tram and that's painted in a yellow color scheme and one of the repaints for the E2 is that colour scheme. Now I did a Google search yesterday. Julius Rabplatz. Good timing. Now I did a um, did a Google search yesterday about the City Circle tram. It's a um, 20 minute non-stop, apart from traffic lights of course, but there's no stations in, in them. There's no intermediate stops. And it's an audio tour. Uh, pre-recorded uh, headphone supported tours of various languages just like with many of the um, tourist buses that that run around doing tours around the inner city sort of areas and a lot of people are saying oh it's you know it's 12 euros it's ex it's expensive you can just get on a normal tram you know it's a lot cheaper now apparently that service isn't running due to the um, the certain global pandemic. But on this episode, we should actually run run that vehicle to show you what some of the repaints of the. Um, E2 look like. Now I haven't seen
look at this one. Now, I don't know anything about this um, city airport tram, where it's from, if it's a Vienna thing or not. But someone's done a tram to look like a city airport tram. Might not even be something from Vienna. They, there are some colour schemes that could best be described as fantasy or or in other words, you know, whatever your local system looks like, they've done a repaint for that. You know, it's interesting to see what they look like in different colours. Hintere Zollamtstraße. Umsteigen zu O in Richtung Raxstraße. Creep up to the light at least. What we might try and do is see if we can go to settings, see what our settings are actually on. Because we might have to dial it back a bit. Or have I just killed everything? No, there we go. Alright, we'll see how we go there. Save changes. Uh, back to game. Might take a few seconds for this to take effect. I don't have control of my tram right now. This is disappointing because this is never usually like this. Because even the textures in the cab, normally they're not blurry. Normally you can see them straight away. I have increased my uh, field of view, which makes the view look a bit more realistic again. It was. too tight before. Alright, we're 
about to get the light. We know the points are locked. it it was heading up towards Stefan so it shouldn't be down this end of the network again anytime soon but it must be just random Oi. yeah I understand I don't know if he understands that big red thing coming at him there's only so much you can do sometimes and that's exactly what's happened oh there's a stop here Funny how sometimes the passengers won't go in unless you actually open all the doors. might actually have to wait until we load until we actually load back in to um, get things to look as good as they normally do I'm enjoying this view more than the other view so I'll fix up so I'll at least fix one problem today Get to, we'll get to um, Prada Haptali and then we will um, reload the E2 uh, probably with the city's the city tour tram Mittelsbachstraße. Umsteigen zu 80A. I think in the end I'll probably just delete the repaints. I'll still have them on my computer, but probably just repaint 
um, get rid of them out of the repainting game once I do this next one and then later on I can reinstall it later on down the track Because even though I've changed the settings, they might not take effect until the next time I load. I've just cracked 11,000 train stopping points, tram stopping points. Also, have you checked out Frankfurt Train Simulator yet? That's out and available on Thursdays. I'll be trying to, as much as I can, not have these episodes and also Frankfurt Tram Simulator on the same Thursday. But that won't always be the case, especially if there's a um, new piece of content, like the depot opening. I'm not going to have that on hold for three weeks just because I've got a Frankfurt tram running. Wir sind am Ziel. Auf Wiedersehen. I don't have control of my tram anymore. Hello, can I have my tram back please? Can I have my tram back? I haven't allocated a paint rate job to every single to every single tram because I still want to still want to be able to say some of the originals. So there, oh gee, the back of our tram's at a weird angle. There's a glitch for you, Shawno. Hang on, let's see if we can zoom in. 
Um, that can't be good. That's weird. That's not supposed to happen. I know that I said I was going to reload a tram when I got to um, the Prada Hub to leave, but oh, that's a bad that's a bad day at the office for a tram driver. That is a bad day at the office. Arts Karinga, view work, view work. Is it too obvious to say, knowing that this tram is sponsor is not sponsored, but has um, advertising for a beer on it? Is it rather too obvious for me here at Pratt to Is it? too much of a stretch to say go home tram you're drunk because you should not be you should not be like that so let's see let's close the doors and let's see what happens when we um, try and depart the premises if we can oh we can Oh, it's just going to stay like that now, so... Oh, hang on, it did straighten up, I think. Hang on, where are we? So now's a good time as any to quit the game. Yes, we will quit. And it looks like we crashed, so we'll be back in a minute.
So technology hasn't been my friend today. We almost didn't have the first part of the episode that we just recorded. So hopefully this will go a little bit better. I do want to show you the E2 in the city city tour colours. Go for a bit of a drive from Prada Haptali. And then I'm going to delete these skins and see if there's been any progress. This might actually show you what I was talking about in relation to um, the tram actually going before I can actually drive it, which is unusual. Now they do have the ability to send messages on the screen in case there's any issues that you need to be aware of and also in addition to that you know change the advertising from time to time oh gee okay um that can't see it's going without me even doing anything about it let's go outside the vienna ring tram so this is what it looks like in real life. Uh, we'll get back in the cab. Oh, that's bad. Let's have a look outside. There's our Vienna Ring Tram. That's what it looks like in real life. That's what it looks like on the E2, on the modified E2. It looks pretty sweet, I've got to say. So we'll close our, we'll close our front door. See so the step hold up. Maybe we shouldn't have. That looks pretty sweet.
Now, it would be nice if you can just um, cruise around looking at trams without actually having to drive one or just driving one like this. We haven't seen this colour scheme yet, I don't think. So there we go. As I said, I don't know whether that's advertising because I'm not from around here. But that looks pretty sweet. Here's our tram. It takes a while to get going, the C5, or the E2. Yeah, a bit of first, third person driving for a bit. Just need to be in a... Sorry for this, round lady. There we go, that should be alright. Just trying to do something a little bit different so we can see the see the different colour schemes of the trams. Give you a different perspective. going on here
I don't have control of my tram anymore. Actually, there's one more tram that I want to show you uh, before I delete them all out of my um, out of my system. Well, I'm pleased to report that things are looking a little bit more clearer. A little bit more clearer in the cab this time of the year too. We're at the Rainbow Crossing. But the important thing is what's outside. Tram Sim! <laughs> it's a Tram Sim colour scheme because of course there is it. Looks rather nice, actually. Um, now, if I already didn't have cover art for the episode, this is what it would be. That's cool. The, the Rainbow Crossing plus the the tram sim all right so let's close the doors going to do what we did the previous part of this episode Why you no go? That's cool. Parlament. Umsteigen zu zwei in Richtung Dornbach. There we go.
46, 49, 48 A.
Well, it's fair to say that our glitchiness has returned. Here's as good as time as any to leave the episode. I've been Simulator Dirk. You've been wonderful. We'll see you next time. Next episode, we'll go to the depot. Simulator Dirk, out.